Watch this. On, off. On, off. On, off. What's going on here? What I have here is a 9 volt battery connected by a wire to this switch and then from the switch over here to one side of the neon lamp. That same side of the neon lamp is also connected to a coil with thousands of turns. The other side of the coil is connected to the other side of the neon light which is also connected back to the other side of the battery. So what's going on here? This is a neon light. Neon light will not light up unless it has about 100 volts or more on it. So where's the 100 volts coming from? It's not coming from the battery, that's only 9 volts. It's not coming from the switch. The switch doesn't produce a voltage, all it does is switch the current off or on. So it must be coming from the coil. Somehow this coil is giving us 100 volts. So how can that be? When I switch the switch on, what happens is I've got a current running through the coil, but not through the light because the light doesn't have a high enough voltage to light up. Because there's a current through the coil, the coil has now become an electromagnet. It's got a magnetic field running through it. When I switch the switch off, the current stops very quickly. Because the current has stopped, the magnetic field inside that coil decreases suddenly. That decreasing magnetic field induces a voltage in the coil. That, uh, that voltage resists that change in the magnetic field. Scientists call that voltage a back EMF. Because the current stopped very suddenly, that induced voltage is very large, 100 volts or more in this case, and that's what was turning on the neon light. On, off. On, off. On, off. Thank you.